Irish Street Stars. We're here with Green Eyes. What it is, boy? Now, for anybody that ain't knowing deaf, dumb, stupid, living up on the rock, man, tell these niggas where you from. Shreveport, Louisiana, man. You know what's going on, man. Shreveport, man. We got Shreveport in the building, man. It's, I ain't gonna lie, man. It's, I don't know if we had just too many people from Shreveport, you know what I'm saying, come through here. Tell us, like, what's, you know, like you say, growing up, you had, you know, the cash money movement from New Orleans. Right now, you got Baton Rouge. You from Shreveport, man. Tell us about the Shreveport scene and the movement out there. Well, shit, let me see. Like, far as the music? Yeah, far as the music. Nah, fuck that. I'm going to go deeper, but go ahead with the music. Man, and go ahead that bitch on, on smash. Yeah, man, you know? free man, free, man, come matter on, of man. fact, free, free man, big go. cuz, man. Free man, go, man. Free. We holding that bitch down. He's still giving time back. He finna come home. You know what I'm saying? Like, everything good, but like Lava House. He had it on smash. He made a way for all of us. You know what I'm saying? Him and Bay Bay. Isn't he the one that started that whole ratchet? The whole ratchet of yeah, Of course. Talk about that, of man. Of course. Talk about that. That's him, you know what I'm saying? You know, he started that whole trend, like the whole thing, you know what I'm saying? He put boosting them on the moon and then they they took it off, you know what I'm saying, to another level. So like, you know, but like once again, free big cubs, man, he coming home real soon. I talk to him all the time. Oh, for real? Man, what? You ever give him more what, what kind of words of encouragement do you give him as far as just keeping his head up? Man, she believe it or not. He don't need no words of courage. That nigga nah. give me words of nah, courage. You really know what I'm saying? Like OG status. Making me, you know what I'm saying? Like, even when I just like, you know what I'm saying? I did four years in yeah. the pen. Like, that nigga write me motherfucking motivation letter. Like, nigga, go home, get that shit right. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's big cuz, like that bitch. He's See, a soldier. He's a soldier. I was always curious, man, as far as uh when you do on time and you sitting down, man, uh, and you um you do get letters or you do get a chance to write people on. How important is that for someone who is sent down? For those that still locked down, for the for the for the people to send them letters so they can read, you know what I'm saying? Man, shit, real important. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, but but <clears throat> I, I, I it's important. It's real important. But to certain people, because you got certain people who know to a lot of shit who I respect things when they go to jail. So That's expect true. motherfuckers not send them letters. Expect motherfuckers not jose them, and they just get it how they live off the land. You know what I'm saying? But like. But for the person who killed like a nigga like me, I care for that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, but like, <clears throat> that's that play a big role. Like, if that a help a person get through their jokes, like make time go by. That's not for real. Not for that's real. Fun. For real. So, so let's take it back, man, because you first time on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Let, let's start from you know. Let's take it back to when you was young, man. You you grew up in uh, Shreveport. You been there from the jump. I've been there from day one. What what is like? You know, in your early part, when did you realize you, that rap, that you had to, you know, you was going to start rapping? <clears throat> Believe it or not, I've been, you know what I'm saying, I've been rapping, trying to rap since I was like 11 years old. Like, I can take you back, like, when my nigga, you know what I'm saying, used to have a motherfucking me, a school tape recorder, and we put the, the fucking radio on side of the tape recorder with the beat playing on it, you know what I'm saying? And, and press play on the record on the motherfucker and the nigga record on it and then stop it and stop the beat and listen to it over like yeah man, like man give us about, about four to eight bars nigga from that from that first rhyme that you spit nigga <laughs> from the, I can't think of it but you know I can it, it ain't enough for me to spit something you know what I'm saying you know what I'm talking about what's the earliest record that you remember that you could spit. It wasn't no early, it's no, I can't remember. Cause I used to be young, I used to write and I just the freestyle and shit, like right. say shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. So, yeah. That's what's up, that's what's up. Yeah. So you get into the rap shit, you know what I'm saying? When did you, when did you realize like, nah, I, I really got, I really got this shit, <clears throat> for real? I been knew I had it, you know what I'm saying? Since a youngin, but what just made me pursue it like that, it's my cousin, you know what I'm saying? Bless the dead, you know what I'm saying? My cousin, yeah, Retro Life. He really just put it on my mind like I was gone, locked up, and he really made the way for me, paved the way for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, he jostling me, sending me pictures, and like keeping me, you know what I'm saying, on my toes. Like, he, he out doing shows, he going this place, this place. Like, he like, this what I'm setting the stone for us when you come home, look up, like, this what it is. So, when I come home, I come home to it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So like that's when I really just took it serious when I come home in 2017. Did uh did females ever play a factor as far as just motivating you to go harder like a motherfucker? Or you won't worry about the, you won't worry about their their opinion. <laughs> I mean, <I'm, laughs> 
<laughs> now look, real shit, I'm gonna say this here. Females play a role in any nigga success. Like nigga. niggas go hard. When for you say a eleven, I'm like, that just be... any, I'm gonna keep that bitch all the way gang. <laughs> any nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, you no, know, don't get me wrong, you got some people don't care about women, but at the end of the day, who you doing it for? Nigga. Other than, you know, you know, yeah, some yeah. people get like you know what I'm saying, blow, get on it, and it's just it's just in the nigga nature to come back to their hood and stunt. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I don't give a fuck, you gonna come back for that same good you knew from back then and all that you gonna stunt on her and all. it's just any person. So I like, yeah. Yeah. Green eyes, keep it a bean with me, bro. How many girls got them tatted on you right now? Damn, why you ask me so much? Oh, I'm gonna let that pay. I'm gonna let that one pay. Yeah, we're real quick. Boy, y'all miss, boy, y'all miss is a motherfucker, boy. Marie. <laughs> Facts. Now, you done been through a couple of trials and tribulations in your, uh, on your path to get into the music, man. Um, you be the case. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, I mean, like, what you wanna know? I mean, what was that, just a little origin on the situation and what it was like beating that and, you know, coming up out of that? <clears throat> well, like, <clears throat> like, it really was crazy, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit was, that shit was fucked up, like, Motherfucking, the feds, man, they locked me up, you know what I'm saying? Them bitches had me on conspiracy, you know what I'm saying? Distribute methamphetamine and, and, and marijuana, you know what I'm saying? But like, I was innocent the whole time, you know what I'm saying? And I was, but when you got a, when you a target, you got a big name in my city, like, even if you don't do nothing and your name come up and you known for doing certain things, I mean, it, it's that's, you know what I'm saying? They ran my name through the ground and the people came and snatched me up, put a warrant out for me, hit me with conspiracy and all that. And, but like, what was, what, what helped me get off, I knew I didn't do nothing. I knew that from day one, but like the feds put in the paperwork, like this happened, but it don't match up with the videos. You see what I'm saying? And it was all a whole facade, you know, like if they would've never, if they, instead of the hand wrist statement, if they would have never took the handwritten statement to the grand jury, like I would have never got locked up. If they would have took the videos to the grand jury, I'd have never been locked up. But instead, you know, the feds, they dirty, bro. Like, I, they dirty, you know what I'm saying? Hey, shouldn't your lawyer do that digging? And did you have a, uh, a, a did you, was your lawyer uh, secured or was you just? The, the, honestly, I'm gonna keep it, I'm gonna keep it. I had a paid lawyer, paid him 7,500, nigga named Dua Thompson. Yeah. He played me out of 500, he even couldn't get my paperwork. Had me sitting there down there five months before I got my paperwork yeah. and shit. I had to fire him. He gave me seven grand back and I got a court appointment. And let me tell you something with the feds, I don't give a fuck if you're a million now. You got niggas pay 30 grand to get 30 years still. Yeah. The government, you going up against the government. Yeah, they they make money. money. They don't give a fuck. You can't even burn out with money. Yeah. It's up to them. You something through, the, through, through evidence will help you. You see what I'm saying? So, yeah. like, that shit don't mean nothing. So, if you ever catch a fed charge, not saying you is, but you get just take the court appointment and rock with you. You know what I'm saying? My court appointment got me through. I would say uh, the lawyer could only do is what the lawyer could do. And, uh, you know, when it comes to discovery and finding out what do they got on me, it's kind of their job to kind of know what they could get on you so they could kind of tell you what you should plead to, what you should, should I fight this mother? You know, what should we do? Man, to be honest with you, man, like I said, I had to pay a lawyer for a minute. So when the, when the, when the, when the, uh, the court appointment got on it, he just got the paperwork or whatnot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Got it to me. I told, like, when I read it and shit, I told my, I told him, like, man, this shit is a lie, bro. Yeah. Like, this shit is a lie. And they came back with the videos down the line, and he seen it was a lie. So he was like, you know what? I'm gonna rock with you, man. Like, I'm gonna get you home. That's my That's word. Right. And at first, <clears throat> they sent me home due to lack of evidence. They sent me home on a house arrest. You see what I'm saying? But. I dropped a, a video and a song about what was going on. Like I told how the agent lied to get me locked up and stuff. Like how, you know, so how my lawyer made him look stupid on the stand and everything. And they came back and picked me up for that shit. Made me do like six more months for that shit before they decided to let me go. Man, yeah, man, say I threaten the agent, say I'm, I'm contempt of court and shit like that. Like no cap, since I've been home, like they just dropped the charges on me. They let me go and they had yeah. dropped the charge. I dropped the song back. Yesterday, my yesterday, I promise this ain't no bullshit. Nigga, my lawyer called me yesterday. The judge called him, told him to take it down. They gonna hit me with contempt of court. Like them bitches just picking at this time. But the feds, the feds, they so used to 
like they got a 90% conviction rate. You know what I'm saying? They now they are used to it's two things they can do. If they looking like they losing, before they lose their conviction rate, they just a drop you down the state or drop the charge completely. They couldn't drop me the state because you can't charge me with nothing. So them bitches summit let me home freely, but they don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Young nigga beat them bitches, they don't like that. You know what I'm saying? Simple. Now coming up out of that situation, what what changes in your life? Does anything change? Do you move differently? What what is the new protocol after that? Shit, when? We we well like let me, like let me say this like before I went to jail I was on the same path with the music and shit like I wasn't doing nothing wrong you know what I'm saying I was like, them bitches really falsely accused me this time you know what I'm saying so it's like <clears throat> like I feel like everything I was doing is right the same thing I'm doing now what I was doing then I just feel like it's God just telling me to get out of my city or some shit like because I done been through so much in my city it's just like. You know how God send you signs, you like, what the fuck I'm doing wrong? I ain't doing nothing shiest. I ain't on that fuck shit no more. I ain't young. I ain't on no shit like, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm really doing, getting it out the mud, taking care of my little ones, and like, and, di- and they come get me for bullshit. You see what I'm saying? So like, but what the goal is, make it, baby. You know what I'm saying? We striving for better, you know what I'm saying? You make it with this music shit, so, you know? So um, another, another, you know, trial and tribulation, um, you end up getting shot 10 times, bro? Yeah. Damn, like, you know, um, number one, like, take us through that. Like, what happened? Like, was you, what, what was the situation, bro? Shit was crazy. Shit fucked up, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got caught slipping, you know? Nigga, you know, nigga, nigga went with the move on a nigga, you know what I'm saying? Like, you see, you know? <laughs> when you survive something like that, does it, like, do you, does your whole outlook, like, your whole outlook on life change? Like, how, you know, when you come about that type of situation, you be like, damn, I'm really like. If anything, that shit made me worse, so, man. Right. Yeah, man, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know what I'm saying, nigga, I lost, I lost my cousin when I got shot. Nigga killed my cousin on side me and shit. That shit fucked me up, you know what I'm saying? Like I just told you, he the one paid away for me with this murder and shit. Like, yeah. he wanted to hide this from Shreveport. Yeah. So, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, that really does, you know? But it made me go harder, like, keep this music going on, you know what I'm saying? Despite of whatever the fuck I got going in the streets, like, this music, this, this, this the first priority, like, this the main option, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Fa- family-wise, who was there for you in your, uh, in your corner to help you kind of get, not only through that time, but get you here today as far as who do you have family-wise? Like, 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 help me get through what Yeah, time? like your immediate family, like getting through, getting shot and, you know, just keep going. Oh, shit, you know, grandma. Yeah. Shit, grandma gonna hold it down all the time, you know what I'm saying? Couple of my baby mamas, you know what I'm saying? Sisters, my family, my auntie comes, like all, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I got family, my brothers and sisters show love, you know what I'm saying? It's all good, but mainly grandma. Nah, that's real. Now, most people that hear Shreveport, uh, they know of two things, man, uh, Coco Pellis <laughs> and uh, Cooper Rowe. Um, How important are those two things, would you say, to the city of Shreveport? Outside of the casinos. Coco, Coco's, that be played a major role. Like, they be had to see the turn. That, that's, that was a club, like, everybody gonna remember that club, you know what I'm saying? Everybody be that club. You somebody, like, that motherfucker was the one that'll put you on the map. But, like, yeah. you know, like, Cooper Road, like, I'm not front of Cooper Road, but I got real family and brothers who front of Cooper Like, my nigga right here, front of Cooper Road, you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, I, we fuck with Cooper Road, but, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, everything all good. What about Juella? Cause you got a song with a uh, B Will, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, Juella, Juella, the truth. Juella. That's that's what motherfuckers used to be uh, thugging. <laughs> Ain't no telling what to have on Juella. You know, so you on Juella, you get shot, robbed. You can get a bitch. You can buy a dog. You know, ain't no telling what I'm on Juella. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? You know, so yeah. you know, you know, every city got that one spot where it's just park. It's just nah, park, like, it's just for real, like for real, like for real. Parking lot pimping all day, like nigga, fuck the club. Get you a bottle, nigga. We like, no, but this is where everybody go after the club used to yeah. be. This is what the mic, like a Crenshaw. They call this motherfucker yeah. Crenshaw. Yeah. Now, this is what I got to ask you. You being from Shreveport, right? Mm-hmm. I went to Shreveport, you know what I'm saying? And it was a bunch of gangsta ass niggas dancing. Like, nigga having fun, right? Like, just having fun. But in Dallas, when we had our boogie movement, niggas, we tried to kill our own movement because niggas wanted to be too gangsta to dance. It's like out there, y'all don't give a fuck, nigga. Y'all having fun and turning up, and y'all don't kill y'all own movement. Like, what's that about? You know what I mean? I mean, nigga, nigga, look, I look at it like this here. If a nigga dancing, if a nigga, if a nigga dancing, 
and the nigga turn around and kill you, that mean he a man like me, like, you mean like he just a nigga who just know one thing. I know what I am, I don't give a fuck what you think. I'm a dance, have fun, at the end of the day you play, I'm a bush ass, so like, you got, you know what I'm saying? Like we have fun, we, we don't, you know, we ain't too hard to have fun, you know what I'm saying? Like, you feel me? Man, yeah, we mean, and you know? I don't, I don't know, man. If a nigga hitting a stanky leg on the ground and that nigga end up popping me and they say who shot you, I'm like the nigga who was doing the stanky leg. You know that nigga who was jigging in that motherfucker down on the ground? I, yeah, that nigga I mean, got me like a I mean, that's some wild shit. Hey, say, 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 that's just real, but listen, say, I that's swear to God. Look, 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 I swear to God, look, look. <laughs> a nigga, a nigga hit the Harlem Shake right now and shoot the shit out of nigga. <laughs> At the end of the day, like that's just real. That's just real, Jason. You know what I'm saying? That's just real. We ain't too hard. You know what I'm saying? We we have fun. We enjoy life. You know, we done been through so, but we enjoy life. You know, what I'm saying? that's real life. Shit. So tell me about this, man. You got you got man. You got some hard ass music. Number one. You know what I'm saying? Um, but tell me about this song, man. You got a song called Gumbo. You got. You know, Boosie Badass on that bitch, Be Well, you know what I'm saying, like I say, and Young Mouse on there. Just talk about that, that, that collaboration with Boosie. It seemed like he always fucking with Louisiana artists and putting back. And I ain't gonna lie, that bitch boo a real nigga. That's my nigga. Yeah. Like, that's my dog. Like, 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 that's my nigga. Like, he called me. He was like, say, bitch, let me get a piece of that gumbo. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he, called shit. Man. he called me. He like, say, bitch, I, I wanna fuck with that. I did that in his house. He wasn't there. He, I think he was in Kansas somewhere doing a, I was at the house, we were, you know what I'm saying, chilling. I had been down there. And he, I think he was in Kansas doing a show on the way he was specifically, specifically, but he was somewhere, but, and I did it. And when I got back to Shreveport and shit, be weird, kind of like Boosie won't holler at your bitch. And he got me like, man, let me get a piece of that gumbo. We like, bitch, I'm fucking with that. And I okayed it. And he signed it, he did it right then and came up. That's my nigga. That's real That's shit. my real partner, you know what I'm saying? Oh. He look out. And he just he just went online and said Louisiana. I don't know if he said Baton Rouge or Louis, Louisiana, but he was like, y'all got the best rappers. And I always felt like, bro, y'all never wavered on y'all style. Like since I've been little, nigga, y'all always been consistent. What is that like? Is that just a Louisiana pride thing? Like, nigga, we gonna put this this style in their face and we gonna keep it going? Like, what's that? I mean, that's just our style. It ain't no thing. Pride. They just our style. Period. Like, this how we raised. This this shit this shit come natural. This how we you know this is how we coming. You know what I'm saying? Do you think they give Boosie a bad rap because he just always speaking his mind? Do you think, or uh, is, is do you think do you ever hear him say some shit and be like, damn, that nigga, that's that was wild, boo. <laughs> that is bull dog. That is bull dog. I, I mean, that's just how that's just how that's just how that bitch coming. That bitch a gangster, you know what I'm saying? Like he not finna not speak his mind. I don't give a fuck who he is. He could be his mama. He gonna speak his mind. That just real is real. And I'm gonna show you something. Nowadays, people don't respect real. They respect soft and gentleness and lies and shit. Like, people look for the bullshit, but you got a nigga right here in your face giving you the truth. And you should, I feel like everybody should respect that. You know what I'm saying? The truth is the truth. You gotta deal with it. You, it's reality. You know what I'm saying? Respect. Did you get a chance to watch the, the Boosie movie? Hell yeah, 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 I watch anything my boy drop. That's the that, that support thing. Yeah, man, uh, if you was to give it, you know, out of five stars, what would you, what would you rate that motherfucker, man, live on camera? I, I rated a, a 20, a ton, a 10. Yeah, really? I'm, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why <laughs> yeah. I rated it. I'm going to tell you because I know where you come from. I know this shit real. Nah, and I real. respect the real. Me and all my niggas, we, we from the struggle. We respect the real. We know how it is. So, yeah, I, I rate that bitch a hundred, a million. All right, now I'm put you on the spot. Now you got to rate the top three hood classic movies. The hood classic movies? Yeah, top three hood classics. Uh, like local shit, like they, 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 they just ain't no mainstream, yeah, mainstream. No mainstream Ghetto store is one of them. Yeah, for sure. Ghetto store is one of them for sure, for sure. Let me see, uh, motherfucking, uh, what's them boys from Detroit? Real, and then what they got? Uh, 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 Paint Love, what is called, boy? Y'all don't? Oh, they the fat black nigga. With the fat oh, black nigga, y'all don't? Yeah, yeah. With murder, murder, yeah, with murder with a, what, 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 what is it? Shit, I, that's enough snow on a bluff one of them motherfuckers. Oh, yeah. I respect I respect Curtis. Yeah. I respect him. <laughs> I really respect him. Plug love, plug love, plug love. That bitch oh, yeah, got, that yeah, that just, that, that just real shit. This type of shit goes on. I ain't gonna lie, my, all three of my favorite movies from Louisiana. <laughs> Master P, uh, was it? Oh, I got the, oh, oh, I got the hook up, body, body, oh, for sure. Oh yeah, them classics for sure, for sure. You know what I'm saying? 
If you was to make a if you was to make a movie, bro, like, what would be the plot? Would it be the plot? Yeah, would it be the plot? <sighs> they just said, hey, Green Eyes, we giving you about we giving you a five hundred million, nigga. Just just whip whip it up. Whip it. I don't know. You should find out. Okay, five hundred now. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, what they want the truth? They want to know how I grew up or you, something? Yeah, whatever you want to do. You got oh, we gon' we gon' take this bitch. We gon' speak the truth. We like ghetto stories. We like motherfuckers snow, but we gon' speak the truth. Then we gon' tell you what really happened behind the scenes. We gon' tell you everything from a child on up. Five hundred Huh? <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah, for sure. I think it's a guy. <laughs> Where the money go, Green? Like, nigga. It's a good use, nigga. What the fuck you Take talking about? Take us a game, man. I promise. Man, it, it, it's crazy because you know, uh, young boy just did um, uh, an interview with academics, and uh, he had mentioned, uh, you know, he had talking about his baby mamas. Uh, you know, he got like nine kids. I know you, of course, you have yours. So I just wonder, man, in Louisiana, man, is there is there nothing to do but fuck around and just spread your seed? <laughs> Shit, dude. <coughs> man, I'm gonna say something. Yeah. Where I'm from, you know, when you young growing up. You know, nigga ain't off it to it. Like, you got some who be who who, 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 who up here. You know what I'm saying? It's all about the money, but at the end of the day, like I said earlier, nigga gonna do what they gotta do with them women, man. They gonna <laughs> you know? fuck them hoes, man. They gonna have fun. They gonna, when you're young, that's just what goes on. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They gonna have fun. Wild, reckless, and you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that, that's real. That's real. Man, as far as for your career, man, um, Again, uh, I definitely want to shout you out because you know you've you been you've been tapping down in DFW for a minute. You've been fucking around for a minute out here. Um, as far as just moving around, you know, not only Dallas, Fort Worth, but just other cities, other coasts. What spots have you been to? What spots would you like to go to? Just make your just make your face present, your music present. Tap in with the network out there. Everywhere, I've mean, been everywhere. Atlanta, yeah, Mississippi. You know what I'm saying? Surrounding areas in Louisiana. You know what I'm saying? Like I didn't did. Florida, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, fucking with my nigga Be Will. Like, I done been through all of him and Boo. They done took me places. Like, I done opened up for them plenty of places, you know yeah, what yeah. I'm saying? A lot of niggas go to Atlanta and want to get stuck out there, you know what I'm saying? Just because the network they got. The, to be honest, I got stuck out there. I ain't no getting an apartment and everything like that. Oh, nigga, yeah. So, would you suggest that up and coming artists? A lot of niggas don't want to spread I mean, their wings sometimes. It's, it's fine. I mean, if you want to really, if you really want to make it with some music, I feel like. You got to get out your city. Atlanta is one of the places. If you want to make it, take your ass to Atlanta. Like, I was down there, like, nigga, I had a, I had a management deal with, with Grand Hustle. Like, I'm at Grand Hustle Studios every day. Like, it ain't enough for me to go to them. I can go right now and go to that motherfucker called the management team. Hey, man, I need the code to the what's going there, my own engineer, and do my thing there with Young Dro and them and shit like that. Like, yeah, I just Damn. went to jail, you know what I'm saying? How long did it take for you to, like, link up and make that shit happen? It didn't take long at all. Like, Man. the motherfuckers seeing videos and shit would be weird, and they called be weird, like, Green Eyes the one. They yeah. called him, like, we fucking with him. What's up with him? And that's when I ended up moving. I was going down there already with be weird, going to Boost House, going to shit relationships with them. And, and they, they meet me head up, and shit, before you know it, I ended up getting a apartment out there because this was what was going on. You know what I'm saying? Like a grand hustle, man. As far as just the infrastructure with the studio, every everything was all yeah. everything was all good. But everything was all good. Everything was all lovely. Like they was with it. It's just I got lazy with it because it take money to do this shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm young. I'm in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I don't know nobody. You know what I'm saying? The music ain't paying off. But as a musician, you gotta invest in yourself. You gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah. I just really rap hustling at the time, you see what I'm saying? So, shit ain't paying out, so I had to just get back to the city. Yeah, nah, nah, so, so, you know what so I'm saying? I gotta ask you then, because, you know, I'm glad you said that, because a lot of people might have it uh, misunderstood. To, to get in this music business, man, can you be one foot in, one foot out, like, you know, keeping a regular nine to five, working and then doing the music on the weekends and shit? Yeah, I, it's kind of it's hard. I mean, when you're doing music, you need to be strictly on music. Yeah. You need to be strictly on music because like you it, like it, it, it'll be time where you get unmotivated, you gotta keep going. If you want this shit to pay off, you gotta keep going. You know what I'm saying? But like shit. I mean don't you, give got, me, you gotta be able to pay for this. Pay for the you know, you gotta you pay got for to. You gotta you got, so that, and over. that's why I was getting it. I was gonna say like shit at the same time. But you gotta have bread to do this shit, so you gotta have some revenue coming outside of this music. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So you gotta work and do something if the music ain't you know what I'm saying? How much would you say per month an artist need to spend on his craft? 
A month? A month. I ain't gonna go year, week. We gonna go a month. I, I mean, a month, let me say. It, I mean, I can't just say because a motherfucker, I don't know, like, say for instance, I might got a five video, man, and he charged me a thousand, but he might, I can, this person might got a five video, he charged him five thousand, they both the same quality. Yeah, that's true. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I can't smarter, just say. Harder, so I just can't say, but I know all that I can say is like, do you, if you really want to blow, you got to invest in yourself, my nigga, and don't wait on nobody. Because, like, if you not up the part to, 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 to take yourself out to the next level, if a motherfucker who is up the part to take you to the next level see you put effort in with the little shit you do, guy, yeah. those motherfuckers fuck with you, you know what I'm saying? That's real, man. I, I want you to tell us about the TP movement, man, as far as... Uh, Oh, for sure, the trap form. You know what I'm saying? Shout out my big bro, Hick, man. This, 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 this the brand. This the label. You know what I'm saying? The trap form, man. Y'all look at it. They got screens, everything. You know what I'm saying? Like real shit. I'm talking about no illegal, real legal shit. Got screens. This the brand. Like all type of shit. Make sure y'all tap in the trap form. Like this shit. Uh, this shit. A lot, like a, like a, like a, this shit is more than a brand. Like it's just a lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Where can they tap in? Like if somebody wanted to get some of that. You know, get some of the good legal. <laughs> You tap in the trap form, Instagram all day, man. Trap form, man. It trap form, bro. Tap in clothing line, like I said, good screens, all type of shit. That's you know, the base, everything. Man, um, you got a collab project with NBA Michi coming out? Yeah. Okay, let's let's talk about that. How, how did that come about? Shit, that's my nigga, like shit. You know what I'm saying? That bitch fuck with my music. You know what I'm saying? Like he always fuck with my music. Bitch reached out, like man, I fuck with your shit. And I don't know. No, no, no rapping shit, no dick out shit, cause you know, like I said, he from Louisiana. Yeah. Niggas ain't friendly, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like street nigga recognize a real street nigga. We, it, it, you know what I'm saying? So we we locked in. He fuck with me, I fuck with him. So we we getting that shit together. How, how many songs like we we could be looking at on that project? We are gonna do like probably like a six to eight. EP you know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah. That's what's up. Mm. Man, man, you got your people with you, man. You know what I'm saying? Let's go through real road call, man. Introduce everybody, man. Let's oh, oh, for people. sure. Like, <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is my brother Cuss right here. You know what I'm saying? He got the mic. R&A is Cuss, you know what I'm saying? I go about R&A Cuss on our platform. Uh, we just got a, uh, what's that called? Uh, Rhythm Nation. Rhythm Nation. Real Niggas and Shooters uh, compilation uh, mixtape we just put out. Uh, shit. Oh, yeah. From, uh, out there in Shreveport, too? Yeah. For sure, listen, yeah. another thing. Free my brother Ratchet Low, man. Yeah, one of the hottest Free things out of, I want the next Free hottest thing out of motherfucking Street Pro Life. That's my brother, that's my nigga. Free, Free my score. nigga. Free Y'all gonna look squad, out for him, you know what I'm saying? Free Deezy, free the whole squad. Yeah. You know? Yeah. What, what, what my man's right here? <clears throat> I go by the name of Defo. My Instagram name, Defo underscore RNS. What you got? You got you got your music oh, out. What I'm you got? Tripping. I'm full. I'm full. <laughs> oh, hold up. He on that TP? Yeah. That, that um. That's my old Instagram. My new Instagram. D4 underscore DS4L. Yeah. And I just dropped a little mixtape. Man, thirty free thirty. It's called yeah. Evil Twins. Free it's out on all platforms. That's all. And this my little brother Scooter. Right here. Shit. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna be Scooter. <laughs> 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 Like I ain't no rapper. I'm just with the RNA brand shit. I ain't no rapper. I'm just with the rappers. You be crossing niggas over, don't you? You like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he got to cross over. Whatever. But give us that mic. Give us that mic. Yeah, give us that mic. We good on that. Fade that shit to bro so well, boo. Fade that shit to bro so well. We're here. Add me on Instagram. Underscore Ghostface. Who's the one in the click when shit get out of control that, you know, they calm it down? They coming down? Yeah, like that. <laughs> let's say, let's say, it's like this here. It's like, it depends on the situation at hand. Shit, we just gonna say that. Yeah, cause certain situation, ain't no calm down. Everybody gonna be on the bullshit. But another thing is, another thing is, we don't lay by ourselves. Nobody better than nobody, nobody bigger than nobody here. Yeah. Everybody they own big dog. We ain't got no big dog. You know what I'm saying? We respect each other to the utmost respect. Each one of us, so, you know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. Nobody like, oh. Just because he got this going on, he better not. You know what I'm saying? We yeah. won. We're a squad. Who, who the one, like, 
to that state to the end of the club and try to pull something to <laughs> take them to the club. That's everybody. <laughs> shit, they be, we, I mean, we, uh, nine times, but nine times ten though, if we hit the club, we ain't got to look for nothing. That shit all the yeah, really stone for we leave. So I can't just say everybody, but at the same time, a nigga got a hundred options. Y'all don't know who I don't even want to end the motherfucking day, you know what I'm saying? Why we but still like, here to two, nigga? Let's go, nigga. For <laughs> real. That shit come easy. That shit come easy, yes. man. Man, any, uh, any business ventures any y'all into as far as outside of music, outside of squad shit? Any, any? Yeah, nigga got, nigga got the clothing brand they, they got on the way. Y'all be looking up, you know what I'm saying? The FDF, man. Fuck the fame, feed the fam. You yeah. know what I'm saying? On the way, they, you know what I'm saying? The RNAS, they got their they clothing line coming. Like, we all working, you know what I'm saying? It's all everything, you know what I'm talking about? Dogs, you know what I'm saying? We got yeah. dogs, all yeah. type of shit, like on. everything. Like, we, yeah, we we off into it. If a nigga, if a nigga, uh, <laughs> if a nigga gave you, let's say, ten racks and said, "Man, listen, I'm gonna get this to you, but you gotta go get some crypto." <laughs> what? I mean, what the fuck is crypto? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fuck it up. What the fuck is crypto? Like, <laughs> oh, so, oh, oh, give me that tell, oh, Are you talking stocks and shit like that? Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Flip that bitch another way, goddamn. What are you talking some, I'm there with the, talking some crypto, some kryptonite or some shit like that? Hey, look, <laughs> look, bro, you just made me. Bro, it was some know, kryptonite or some shit? I mean, bro, you, you got to. Like you got be more speak some stocks and bonds, say that shit, some crypto, look, Bitcoin. Look, you just made me think of a good story. One of my partners, like this nigga, like super fan. <laughs> hey, you know how niggas hustle on IG, nigga. This nigga sent me a message like, "Man, bro, I just made a ten thousand dollars on crypto." I called that nigga. I said, "Whoever this is that the hack my nigga IG, find a better person." Say no, no, nah, he. But listen, he ain't lying. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. But that nigga ain't lying. I got a partner right now and call right now in front y'all. He that nigga just made like ten bands off crypto, bro. bro. My nigga Marco. The nigga, the nigga my nigga will tell Marco. Me how and I still be lost. I'd be like, bro, that's dope. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that, that's playing in the bitch, nigga. Shit, I can't follow you. If <laughs> I'm an old no, school for real, like real like, shit. It's like certain times of the day you gotta be looking at that shit and seeing all this shit. shit. That's yeah, shit. Like, that's it. Ain't easy what people just think they put your money in there. Nah, this shit ain't like that. <laughs> yeah. You gotta look like every day at a certain time to see what is it at this time and all type of shit. That shit ain't easy what people think it is. You know would, what y'all, what I'm would y'all trust y'all money in somebody else's hands? Like oh, no. as y'all come up, you know, there's people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, saying, that's about it, you know what I'm saying? Each other, y'all. Yeah, that's that, y'all. That's that's I mean, reasonable. Like, there's people that's like professionalized in this shit, like money managers. And I, shit I feel like I'm money, I manage out my own motherfucking money. <laughs> we, yeah, we, I'm gonna watch my own shit. I'm <laughs> nigga, just now, just nigga, really, just now, just believing in the bank account, my boy. You know oh, what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Now I feel you. nigga, I feel you. growing up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. Nah, I, I have I have good faith in the bank account, my nigga. You, <laughs> You you lose some yeah, shit. I, I do too. I do too shit, now. He, but like even shit you don't lose, nigga. I lost it. It just I, I need that back. So used to have me in your hand, bro. It just <laughs> yeah, son. So I got I got to ask about the Shreveport music scene. Like in Dallas, you know, always everybody's always complaining. Like ain't no unity. Niggas ain't you know showing love that type of shit. We respect people that come in the city versus oh, yeah. people in the city. Is it like that in Louisiana? Is it unified? Like I mean, in Shreveport, I mean specifically. Like what's the music scene out there? That shit crazy, bro. Like, split up like a motherfucker. You got this person beefing with this person, this click beefing with this click, and these person here, they ganged up and they beefing with these people. Like, this shit crazy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all crazy. I know you seen the murder rate. Shreveport yeah. one of the highs right yeah, now. Yeah, You know what I'm saying? We were like 81 murders in this year, 82, 83, what it is? Shit, yeah, that motherfucker, you, that motherfucker. Yeah, we, want, we the third, like, third or second, man. Yeah. In, the country. in the country. In the country. Why you think that is? Why well, I think it is? Cause yeah. she, the motherfucker struggle. Yeah, that's the struggle. Then they took Trump. I ain't gonna lie, Trump was showing love. Yeah, he was showing nigga, love. nigga, when them PPPs and shit was dropping, there wasn't no killing going on. That shit over with. Ain't nothing but killings going on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? They were feeding niggas. You know what I'm saying? When you get money in your hand and you and you get used to this certain type of lifestyle, yeah, a lot of shit you go you gonna start thinking is you having you you being able to live. So a lot of shit you ain't gonna do no more. You be like, man, I ain't for do this shit. I go back to jail. I'm living like this here. Like, nah, for real. This, 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 you know what I'm saying? But nigga ain't got, you got a bad rap. Niggas, they was on, they was on what you doing? 
with Trump, but Trump. I, I feel like Trump got a good rap. I feel like Trump really showed love to the hood. Trump showed love to a lot of motherfuckers. A lot of motherfuckers miss yeah, Trump right now. Well, I say, look, a lot of motherfuckers tough as shit, though. When Trump got out of Trump, so yeah, man. yeah, had everybody was bankrolled. Niggas love Trump. Trump for real. Real. Niggas who ain't never saw 20,000. They had 20,000. For real, shit. Real talk. Y'all for real, shit. Shit, for real. Tens of Man, free 20 racks? Man, hey, man, fuck you. Hey, what they say? I pay it back when they turn to Easy come, easy go. That nigga said, finish it on. I'm like, nigga, it just came so easy. I got to get rid of them. I'm blowing it in the Nigga, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. No, like real shit, man. Nah, so I'm curious, man, your thoughts, man. You know, uh, you know, Boosie said it best, man. Most rappers, you know, they end up, you know, losing their life in their own city, man. And uh, of course, we lost uh, Young Dolph out of Memphis. Shit, um, you man. as an artist, man, as far as even going through what you went through, uh, what are your thoughts on that? As far as just, you know, him being in his own city, just the, you know, the city. Support? Man, check this out, man. Rest in peace to Young Dolph. Yeah. Much love to Young Dolph. Man, I lost wretched life, shit. That's no, enough said yeah, right there, you know what I'm saying? I just took, like, my my family was one of the hottest around the city. Like, I always fit the scene. He with Bay Bay them. Like, Bay Bay, the ex from their vouch for he was the hottest. Young boys just 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 recently post video, he rapping and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Like, nigga, I lost one of my, you know, the greats, you know what I'm saying? I look at it, you know what I'm saying? And even that right there, when you see, like, the situations as far as coming up from, the niggas come from the bottom, you know what I'm saying? Niggas come from, man, I, you know, come from nothing, come from the mud. Do you feel like once you do get across some kind of money, that technically there should be an exit strategy out of your hometown? Some people do like to plant their feet, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but I, I, I mean, I feel like, shit, once you get a certain type of motherfucking exposure, when you get a certain type of level, any person, Especially if you live in five, but if you reach another certain type of level where it's good like this here, I feel like you should get the hell out of your city. Yeah. Get the hell, you know what I'm saying? Because like, it's not time, you're not gonna make it, bro. In your city, you're not gonna make it, bro. Yeah. Nah, social media really fucks shit up uh, even more so. No, I mean, it do in a certain way, but it help a lot yeah, of motherfuckers yeah. too. Like it's it, like, like, like with some gospel that miss ass shit, I mean, they, that just goes on, but like if it wants social media, want, that just like if you say this here about a person, it's a lie by the time you get to you, I didn't, this person here to see this person do the lie. You know what I'm saying? Like that just what goes on. Like it's just another, in another form, no, you know what I'm saying? It's like, meaning like, you come from your hometown, your home, you know, you post that you got a Lambo. It seems like the niggas that from your hometown were hated the most compared to a of course that's yeah of course of course. Yeah, you growing up, might be like that nigga got a Lambo. Like, yeah, exactly. Some simple, you post some simple yeah, shit. Yeah. You know why motherfuckers grew up in the struggle just like just like you did and feel like they both had this shit. And if they ain't got, it, they feel like man, what the you know you know some yeah and, and y'all was in the same struggle. Yeah, you know, some motherfuckers hate. Yeah, it be nigga, nigga, girl. When we got the same 24 like, hours, hey, you know what I'm saying? Looking nigga like man, shit. facts, man, facts, man. Take that shit to heart, man, for real. <laughs> man, for those that do want to follow you, we in the fourth quarter right now, man. I want you to go and tell them what you got up coming up, uh, going into the first quarter, going into 2022, man. What you got coming up? Man, I got a lot of shit coming up, you know what I'm saying? I got, I got all the time, like I say, I got the... EP coming out, me and NBA meet you, baby. That's something to look out. You know what I'm saying? We probably dropped that probably about January or February. Yeah. You know, so I just did a, a song, you know what I'm saying? On a, on a song, me and HD, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, me and my nigga Jeremiah, shout my nigga Jeremiah, he a bitch yeah. dog. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got a mixtape I'm dropping soon. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be on the lookout for that. I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but I'm coming. But like, and also like, I got a, 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 a single finna drop called Edit Freestyle with the video and all. That bitch the truth. Like, so that's what you need to be looking for. Listen, are, are you applying any pressure on TikTok, bro? It no, like I, have, bounce, I have. I mean, since I've like, been you home. You got Ratchet Life Freestyle. You, I mean, you got a lot of shit that might could go yeah, on TikTok, my like, nigga. Like, have you, you been like and applying right. any pressure on that motherfucker? Like, that nigga, that nigga be love. Love. like, huh? That nigga, that nigga be love. Didn't he blow up all that? Oh yeah, no, nigga. Uh, put like the HD was at the hub. Yeah, I with heard us. he did it when I was locked he, up. He, yeah. HD was at the hub with us. Um, bomb, bomb, bomb. He yeah, released yeah. it a week later. A week, a week later after the hub, no one knew this. You know, I mean, people knew him, but no one knew him. A week later, the the bomb, bomb, bomb shit hit TikTok, and there you go. So I be like, TikTok is kind of the way for a lot of young artists as far as 
especially from Louisiana, because it's that bounce yeah. shit they be looking. The females mm. just want to twerk to something. Exactly. Exactly. Y'all even saying some gangsta ass shit. You know what I'm saying? So it just really. Yeah. To me, Once you get the women, like, it's made for a nigga like you to really. Ugh. The women, them club, them kids, you get them three. You get them three. Is over. You can't say shit after that. Number the stars, niggas. That's the only thing. Like it's the only thing up. Everybody gotta fall in line. <laughs> exactly. If you want to start a challenge, what, what would the challenge be, though? What would the challenge be? Yeah. Me personally, I'm gonna make some. I'm, 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 I'm gonna tell you like this here. A challenge. It wouldn't be no. It had to be some with women dealing with women. Cause I know one thing. Once niggas go see them women doing it, they gonna tune in. Mm-hmm. And the women's, the women's as powerful as a motherfucker. Yeah. I don't give a fuck what you say. So it had to be me with a nice song where a woman could twerk to, and I put a motherfucking, a million dollar challenge, I'll shake your ass, yeah. and we gonna get this song popping. You know what I'm saying? Just, you feel me? Some shit like that. Hey, so all y'all lady fans out there, man, y'all go run this nigga music yeah. up and do, do in. something. Figure Tap something in. out. He gonna, he gonna it, run it up. It, it, I don't give a fuck. If I'm talking about screw shit on the song, it's gonna have a vibe where a motherfucker can shake their ass too. Yeah. Like, I'm trying to reach out, you know, the script clubs and shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? We trying to go worldwide, baby. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Man, for those that do want to get at you, man, do want to follow the movement, see what you got coming up, man, how can they follow you? Oh, man, you follow me on Instagram, man, on IG, man. You know what I'm saying? fdl 2 x Underscore green eyes, man. Anytime, like you know, you find we 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 cutting up, man. Tap in, cause we going up. We steady getting features. We steady getting booked for shows. Like we going up, like it's up, man. Like shit. So they better tap in now before we get major. You know what I'm saying? Man, who gave you the name Green Eyes as a rap artist, man? man. Someone did someone hand that down to you? Believe it or not, when I was young, my niggas, all my niggas, know what I'm saying? They yeah. called me Green Eyed Demon. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just. Cause we heard Booster say this shit with y'all. Remember our bus too with the green eyed demon. Yeah. And you know, nigga got green eyes, so they call him green eyed demon. But like, nigga took that demon shit off and just green eyed because we felt like it was more bit. appropriate and just put ran bit, with put it. Bit. <laughs> put a bit, put a bit. Yo, put a, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Man, you got any shout outs you want to give? Shit, shout out. Oh, fucking right. Shout out to all my people, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Street Pope, man. Shout out, you know what I'm saying? My niggas who come through, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Trap Form. Shout out my nigga Dead and Gone, Life and Lee. Shout out my nigga Locked Up, Free Ratchet Low, Free 30, you know what I'm saying? Free Mundre, Free Dove, Free all my niggas, like, you know what I'm saying? It's up, man. Shout out to bitch NBA Meet you, baby. Cause you know what I'm saying? If it weren't for him, nigga wanna be sitting on this bitch now, you know what I'm saying? Like, shout out to everybody, like my nigga, you know, we finna blow. Nah, and I want to shout out you, man, for even coming through and fucking with us, man. It's man, one of those shout situations. Shout out y'all, man. Nah, Appreciate for real. y'all for letting us hey, come show our love. I see nothing but brightness in your future, man. So we got to say it, man. You know, don't get too lit to forget us, man. Come back and chop it up with us, man. When you get show. that plaque, man. When they on TikTok show. going crazy, we, we hit your line. Don't look like all that nigga street start. Hey, come never, back and fuck with us, man. never forget where we come from. Nah, for real, we'll man. never forget where we come from. You know what I'm saying? Man, you already know what it is, man. We got the gang in here, man. You know what I'm saying? Come on, man. Green eyes on the motherfucking couch, man. This is a situation, man. You are a real life street star, man. We salute that shit. Right. Good. I'm back. Shout out real street stars, nigga. Moolah. Hey.